Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadadia and today we are going to study about distance formula. Guys, yes, distance formula of coordinate geometry. So that we are going to find out. Let me tell you and I am going to teach you the derivation also guys. So here we need to find out the distance between these two. So for that one formula is called that is called distance formula and this is the distance formula distance equals to or distance formula equals to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square guys. under root. So I am going to teach you the derivation part also. Okay Rushi. So let us start guys. How to find out the distance between these two coordinates by this formula. Let me tell you, give names to this coordinate. Take it as x1 and y1 sorry x2 and y2. So this is the distance formula. How they had derived this formula that I am going to tell you. Let me tell you. First you can find out this distance with the help of x1 this distance with the help of x2. Now can you if you will subtract x1 minus x2 what you will get? You will get this part. This much part. If you will subtract x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1 in negative you will get but we are going to do square so that will uh, get removed so let me tell you how you can do this is 7 and this is 3 if from this 7 if I subtract this 3 I will get this distance right so that we are going to do x2 that is 3 minus 7 or 7 minus 3 whole square is there so negative square or positive square will become same that's why plus here y2 minus y1 so y2 is 5 5 and y1 is 8 so here you will get 7 minus 4 whole square that is minus 4 whole square and 5 minus 8 that is minus 3 whole square so you will get under root 4 square 16 plus 3 square 9 under root 25 and so the distance will be under root 25 that is 5 so the distance between this coordinate is 5 actually this is Pythagoras only guys how if you will subtract x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1 you will get this distance and then y2 minus y1 or y1 minus y2 you will get this distance and their square means let me take it as a b and c so a b square plus b c square is equals to a c square right or i can write down under root a b square plus b c square is equals to a c here also we have done the same thing but how we will get a b square x2 minus x1 is whole square and b c square y2 minus y1 or you can take x1 minus x2 also y1 minus y2 also but this is given in your textbook and everywhere so we have to follow x2 minus x1 only guys so this way we can find out the distance between any two coordinate given on a Cartesian plane and this is the derivation part also guys how we had data so thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button bye guys